Hey, uh, what's going on? <sighs> Next topic is uh, national slash official language of the United States. Um, basically, I feel yes, uh, the U.S. needs to establish uh, a formal official language for uh, the country, at least for government um, purposes. Anyway, um, that's you know for the government. That represents the people of the United States. Uh, it's been various, various debates. This, this is nothing new. Uh, people say that, well, if you do that, then you need to add Spanish up there as official language. Then some people feel like that there don't need to be official language. Yet. But and you know, there's other people that feels like, well, if you make that official language, you'll take away from my culture. I won't be able to uh, get a translator job or this and that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I think you're getting it really mixed up. I think you really messed up because if you establish a national language, it officially recognized that hey, this is our language of our sovereignty. This is what our most prioritized, prioritized uh, language is being English. Um, doesn't mean English only. Doesn't mean English first. Well, in a way, English first and foremost prioritized because that is you know majority of us speak it. But I think it should be properly recognized that people was like, hey, we're well, coming from another country or not. This is how it's done. You want to pass a test, you want to graduate our colleges, university. People blow me up. <laughs> you want to pass our, you know, get our degree in university, whatever, and go through the various intangibles. You got to learn English. You got to learn English anyway. It's not taking any away from any other languages and stuff. Because I can tell you right now, if you go to Mexico, you got to learn Spanish. If you go to French, you got to know some French if you expect to live in France for a while or expect to be successful in France and the United States is no different I believe the um, United Kingdom has something like that official language I'm not sure I do my homework on that but I know Mexico does it's in their doctrine uh, Canada they got two official languages um, Canada to be honest you nothing against the Canadian you know my Canada people is y'all cool and everything but um, reading a little bit about the Canadian situation it seems like the promise of Quebec is making, you know, making the rest of Canada like their bitch or something. Because I'm, I haven't been around that part of Canada, but it seems like they're like distancing themselves or rest from Canada. I mean, maybe it's just me or not, but that's nothing. That's something we shouldn't have here in the states. I mean, we shouldn't have, you know. Places like Florida, California, New Mexico, Arizona, places like that where it has a high concentration of Spanish speaking people. They say, well, we need this because it's convenient for us. Well, what about the rest of the country? You know, nothing against Spanish speaking people. It's just I'm being real. And, you know, um, establishment. Yeah, you do have people feeling who have very personal feelings talking about, well, uh, we've been here long. They, they, they use these, you know, unnecessary uh, stuff. Talking about we've been here before the Americas was established, blah, 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 blah. First of all, you know, there's many arguments against that too, but we're talking about modern establishment here in the United States, here, right now. What's best for American citizens now? To be honest with you, the past is the past. Don't get me wrong. It is the past. But. At the same time, you gotta look ahead in the future. If you're looking ahead in the future, it's not the being divisive about it. You know, yes, businesses benefit from having bilingual this and bilingual that, and we're not really trying to take away from that. There's a lot of benefits of being multilingual, but in a way, that's an individual thing. And, you know, uh, it's a very individual thing because myself, I'm learning five languages. I'm trying real hard to learn five languages, and I'm doing that for what's best for me, not because other people are doing it you know anyway but um i think it is i think it's very important i think it lets us know that um this is how we stand as a sovereignty right now we don't really have consistency when it comes to that area and i think that the government we the government and people owe ourselves that and um anyone want to drop a line holler back want to refute or rebut be my guest